Muslims and civil rights advocates are rallying today outside New York City Police Headquarters following the latest in a series of abuses by the department. Yesterday, the AP disclosed new information about the NYPD illegally targeting Shia and Iranian Muslims for profiling and surveillance. This follows an earlier AP investigation into spying and revelations that the NYPD screened an anti-Muslim film. Muslims are redoubling their demand that Police Commissioner Ray Kelly resign. FSRN's Salim Rizvi reports. The 10-page NYPD internal document obtained by the Associated Press is labeled secret. It details the ways and the reasons to gather intelligence and monitor Shia and Iranian Muslims in the Northeast, including in New York City, Connecticut and New Jersey. The document calls for sweeping profiling and surveillance of these communities and their mosques even when they are not involved in any criminal activity. It also outlines plans to investigate ties between local mosques, Iran and U.S.-designated terrorist groups like Hezbollah, who may pose threats to the country in the event of U.S.-Iran conflict. Muslims are outraged by this latest revelation of the police department's illegal targeting of the community. Cyrus McGoldrick is the civil rights manager at the Council on American Islamic Relations in New York. He also has Iranian ancestry. The language in this document is so precise, it shows so plainly that this is absolutely religious and ethnic profiling, that if this is not illegal, I do not know what is. When you you read things like this, you really wonder if the NYPD even believes that American Muslims have rights that need to be respected, because they're acting like we do not. And if Ray Kelly and Paul Brown do not resign over this, if there is not an effective oversight mechanism put in place over the NYPD over this, uh, then, then we are at a complete impasse. The NYPD report used the U.S. Census and what they called open source research to locate Shia population areas. In the tri-state area of New York, New Jersey and Connecticut, the report documents efforts to monitor 15 different mosques despite their clean records. The report states that, quote, Iran is also known to use humanitarian and diplomatic footholds as cover for their intelligence operatives. It also details how Hamas and Hezbollah operatives allegedly generate funds within the U.S. Brooklyn resident Linda Sarsour is a Palestinian-American and a member of the Muslim-American Civil Liberties Coalition. Her Islamic center in Bayraj is also listed in the secret report to spot possible Hamas sympathizers. I'm outraged that just because I'm Palestinian, um, that based, NYPD is saying basically that Palestinians are Hamas sympathizers and that we're warranted for surveillance. I mean, it's outrageous. I mean, none of those people they talk about in the documents have been arrested. None of these mosques have ever had any issues, have never had any uh, arrests or any, uh, you know, documented terrorist activity. So there's, this is all frivolous uh, claims by the NYPD. It's very clear that um, you don't have to have any ties to terrorism. You just have to be of a certain ethnicity or a cer- certain sect of Islam to be connected. If you're Palestinian, you're connected to Hamas. If you're connected to Hamas, it's connected to Iran, which creates warrantless uh, surveillance. That's it. It's very simple. The secret report, dated May 2006, cautions that Iranians may use rural areas around New York City for covert planning and preparation for a terrorist attack. Iran is a predominantly Shia-majority country which has been at loggerheads with the U.S. since the Islamic Revolution in 1979. The report, titled U.S.-Iran Conflict, The Threat to New York City, was prepared for New York Police Commissioner Raymond Kelly. But Kelly described the document only as a contingency plan. Hamid Latafatai is an Iranian-American businessman who lives in New York City. On Thursday, he was attending the evening prayers at the Imam Ali Mosque in Queens, which is one of the listed targets. Hamid says such illegal tactics by the NYPD won't work. We have right, just like anybody else, and this is in the you know, uh, the United States Constitution, right? If you, if you push tension, tension brings tension. But if you can just bring it with words or... You know, something else, I think, you know. We should just uh, try to find the roots, find a solution in a peaceful way. If they are doing those things, I I don't think that they can get any, any security. They are just make it worse. The new revelations come on the heels of the recent controversy over a training video shown to NYPD officers that painted all Muslims as terrorists. In October last year, the Associated Press revealed details of surveillance of Muslims by the police department's secretive demographics unit. 
Muslims are now calling for the police commissioner's resignation in the wake of the latest revelations of illegal spying and profiling of the community and also planning a rally Friday afternoon in front of NYPD headquarters. They also want legislative hearings at the local, state and federal level to investigate these charges and to create an independent oversight mechanism to reign in the New York Police Department. Salim Rizvi, FSR in New York City.